All right. Hello and welcome everyone to another of the Build Refreshes 2022. One of the last Build Refreshes for 2022 as we are moving into the last few Warframes in the alphabet. And honestly, they're all killers. Starting with Wisp. Wisp is just objectively the best support in the game. She's the most popular support in the game and she is just out outrageously good at the vast majority of content in the game and she's a warframe that pretty much everyone will appreciate seeing in any given mission outside of if you are a wisp that happens to have lower power strength than the other wisp in your party and then maybe you won't be too thrilled but that's about the only situation where wisp won't be welcome so why is that the case well first and foremost she has better support than the vast majority of other supports in the game, just entirely out of Reservoir. So she is giving with Vitality Moat a extremely large amount of health and consistent and constant healing over time for an incredibly long duration at 38 seconds with only 120% duration. And Haste Moat, which is a 64% speed multiplier with our setup here, and it's actually higher than that, which you'll see in a moment, and a considerable fire rate buff allowing you and your entire team to not only move faster through the mission, which is always helpful, but also output considerably more damage. And then the shock mode, which mostly just applies a light CC, but that's like fine. And, you know, a little bit of crowd control to go along with two other extremely relevant and always useful buffs is going to be pretty good. With that, you can see I have fused reservoir on this build, and that is basically going to allow us just to put down all three of our moats at once, which is more of just a convenience factor, which we'll go into more in a moment. Will the Wisp is a teleport and also a just kind of distraction move that you're not going to use very often on Wisp, but the teleport can come in handy depending on what type of mission you're doing and certain areas where you can use it to kind of bypass some things. But also you're invisible for the entire duration of Will of the Wisp, which allows you to be very safe whenever you have to, you know, not be shot for a moment. Not that that's very relevant unless you're not on a vitality mode. And then we have Breach Surge. Breach Surge is her helmet, and it's extremely useful on a bunch of other Warframes, but especially on Wisp, this allows you to have a large AoE blind that also enhances the damage that you're going to be outputting across tons of enemies. And it's an incredibly effective ability that when combined with your reservoirs can also allow you to teleport long distances. The teleport doesn't usually come up, but everything else about this ability is just fantastic. It's excellent crowd control when that's necessary, and it usually isn't on Wisp, but just good stuff. Her fourth ability, Soul Gate, is what we replace for Pillage in this build, but it's an okay lower level, you know, just enemy clear if you wanted to keep it. But for this build for Wisp, this is kind of an all-in Pillage build. This is a 400% Wisp build. We're using the com combination of Molt Augmented and Growing Power to give us the additional strength we need to get to 400% strength, which is going to allow us on Pillage to fully strip all shields, over shields, and armor from every enemy in line of sight of the ability. And because we have base range and solid enough duration, that is going to affect an incredibly large amount of enemies. And the complete and total removal of all defensive properties of enemies, it turns out, is pretty good. This is going to basically turn any enemy that's armored into paper mache that you can easily just, you know, wade through with whatever weapon you wish. Uh, and it's just an excellent ability to be on. Wisp was already building for a considerable amount of strength, as much as she realistically could get, while still having a comfortable amount of duration. And while this is a little bit lower than what I would say most people would consider comfortable duration, I still think that it's very, very good because her durations are very generous just in general uh, and is going to be really solid if you need the extra power that comes from a complete armor strip or shields in some cases, I suppose, too. And that is all to go with using Fused Reservoir. If you want a little bit of extra duration and don't mind putting down each individual moat, you can drop Fused Reservoir and add more duration, and you can do that. Fused Reservoir is not necessary. I just personally think that it's very convenient and nice. And we also get the convenience of adding in Prime Surefooted and Adaptation. Adaptation, I will note, is kind of needed for Steel Path levels, as this is going to give you that 90% damage reduction that's really going to increase your EHP. Um, and Prime Sure Footed is also not necessary, but it's incredibly, incredibly nice to have considering the amount of explosive weapons you're usually going to be using, especially at those much higher levels. So yeah, it's kind of just all great. Uh, the other adjustment that you can make on this is that Dispenser 
is very, very good if you're going to be doing a lot of Railjack. Uh, Wisp is an excellent Railjack pilot with Dispenser on her because you can put her one at the place where the Arc Wings will go and exit, and they will carry those buffs into Arc Wings so they can get around faster and just do everything better. Uh, so that's considerably useful to bring Wisp into that if you happen to have Dispenser available for Subsuming as well. And the build is only a little bit different here. You can see that I just, you know, a little bit more duration, a little bit less strength, uh, and that's pretty much the only adjustments I'd make there. But yeah, Wisp is just an absolute powerhouse. And, you know, it doesn't really take a whole lot to get her going. Obviously, we have the, the budget build in here, which I guess I will show, um, which is, I think this is one forma. It might be zero. I forget exactly what it is. But this is super easy to put together. And you don't need, like, Augur Secrets or anything like that. You can use an unranked adaptation and so on and so forth. It's really, really easy to get her going to be an incredible support. But with this big old build here, um, things are going to be pretty simple. Like we're going to, you know, toss down the fused reservoir. That's going to give us, you know, 1200 health, constant regen. And as you can see, whenever we leave, we have those 38 seconds. Anytime we re-enter, that's going to reset for us. That goes for us and our party as well. And we can set down, uh, two of these. I believe it's just two. Yeah. Two of these at any time of the fused ones. And then otherwise you get six that you can put down, uh, if you decide to divide them out, uh, between the smaller ones. But usually two big old fused reservoirs is going to be more than enough strategically especially in missions where you're not going to move very much placing this on like the new mobile defense target or whatever you happen to be doing um is usually going to make sure that everyone in the party has access to the buff and they are conveniently marked on the map as well so yeah with these uh we're basically just going to go from this spawn these enemies in and they're going to all die we're going to jump into the air uh which we're invisible during because of our passive uh and then just uh take everybody out just pretty pretty easily the pillage out there just to get you know, some shields as well because with adaptation it's actually a very considerable amount of health and then just use a good weapon any good weapon will do it doesn't have to be the proboscis serenos there's plenty of options out there especially with the considerable fire rate increase the proboscis actually really doesn't benefit much from that uh like things like the trumna will uh but yeah things are kind of just good and clean and easy and it's nice being wisp uh notably one of the dangers of being Wisp can be not paying attention at all and dying because of that, which you will see an example of in the Seal Path run. Uh, but hopefully you guys enjoy that, and I will see you tomorrow. All right, here we go. Be really easy. I foresee no problems. The funniest part is that this is 400% pillage, and like, also, we're using the augment still, I believe. Yeah. Oh, I don't have my settings. It doesn't matter. I'll just hold one. I don't care. The perfect music for playing West. Flash procs being real rude to me there. Wait, what? Sounds outrageous, Para. Oh, did I really forget to equip a... No, no, no. My pet's just dead right now, right? I went through and I definitely equipped a pet to all of... All of the slots for, like, the rest of the build refreshes, right? Oh, no. Did I really forget this one? No, no. There's Panzer. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, man. I thought I did a real stupid for a second there. the transhuman dread of thinking you might not have vacuum it really does it really do be that way it be like that it be like it is
Also, it's really hilarious having this, um, like, molt augmented. Because every once in a while, I'll drop, like, a new one of these. And, like, as it's building up, my health will just be slightly higher. Just, like, a little bit. Which I think is funny. Yeah, no true Univac. Maybe someday. Probably not, though. They did it just enough to make all of us shut up. And that's, like, fine. Get ready for a capsule. I'll switch to the Latum just for fun. You just firing at head level randomly. It's like Torment's in there somewhere. Just keep shooting. Eventually they'll be dead. Oh, this is a fair gun. This is a totally super fair, really normal. We love to see it. I mean, I know I have the 400% strength for, like, the armor strip, but, like... But, like, what if funny... What if funny gun? There we go. Now I'm at my, now I'm at my 1500. our max armor strip and everything else it's just it's just a real goofy time here so interestingly this is the build if any of you are planning to bring wisp to cascade i would highly advise this build because the full armor strip from pillage is funny so if you happen to be like wanting to bring like a support wisp to cascade do this because it's funny it'll take a while to build up but that's worth it. And also, like, in that while, like, the enemies are not going to pose a threat to you as long as you bring a decent gun anyway. Because you'll be stripping, like, 90% of their armor, and that's, like, you know, close enough for enough of, like, the earlier in, like, Steel Path levels. time oh right we already had an acolyte show up it's so it's just like and the difference between playing a good warframe and a bad warframe am i right you're just playing vaubon and like man this is so much better like you like comically this is so much better this double affinity so it's time to finish your builds yeah i mean you're not wrong but like the unfortunate bit is that like the very end of the alphabet is pretty much done what the what oh it's leech it's double eximus okay i didn't pay attention and that's my bad not paying attention it'll get you that one's on me Yeah, I didn't have a good reason to die there. That was just full-on 100% me not paying attention. I'm 
from the good warfare moment of dissociating too hard and dying because of it. Yep, it, it does happen. Yeah, double Eximus is one of those things that can get you, though. Be the real huh of it all. But whenever you're running around like that, though, it's easy to be like, hmm, I am invincible. Realize Mania had that power. Cronus, thank you for the sub, appreciate it. Let's grab a bunch of shields this time. One of the other nice things about Pillage is you get like a thousand shields, which can be helpful. Why are you invincible? Whatever. You're blind anyway. Random invincible enemy. Who can say why? Enemy is totally invincible. Refuses to elaborate. Love the armor strip. There we go. Oh, I was convinced that that transformed. There we go. All right, there we go. Yeah, besides me, like, full-on not paying attention at all to what was right in front of me, that went really well. Also, YouTube, I apologize that my Wisp's ass was covered by the cloak that I used for the, the Wisp Ronnie cosplay. I apologize. I'm sorry. You didn't get what you wanted. You wanted just one thing from the Wisp video, and I couldn't give it to you. I apologize. <laughs> a crime. New Wisp build. Yeah, this is like kind of a meme build, but it is actually like good. Like it's meme in the way that like 100% armor strip is meme because you really don't need to do it. 